You're a senior engineer at a fintech giant, and you just realized your system is bleeding cash. A customer hits refund on a $100 order. The server spins, it times out, the user gets frustrated and mashes that button again. Suddenly, they've been refunded $200 for a $100 item. You didn't just lose the product, you just paid the customer to walk away. This is the double spend nightmare. How do you kill this bug before the CFO kills your career? In a distributed system, network timeout doesn't mean failure. It means, I don't know, maybe the database updated, but the acknowledgement got lost in traffic. When the user retries, your API sees a fresh request and processes it again. This is a failure of idempotency. An idempotent operation means no matter how many times you call it with the same parameters, the result stays the same. But implementing this at scale, that's where 90% of engineers fail the system design interview. There are three main ways to fix this, and I want to see who actually knows their stuff in the comments. Option A, the database constraint. You use a unique transaction ID and let the DB throw a 409 error on the second attempt. Simple, but does it scale to 100K requests per second? Option B, the idempotency key with Redis. You generate a client-side UUID, store it in a distributed cache with a TTL, and check it before every execution. Option C, the state machine. You track the order status. If it's already pending refund, you reject any incoming refund calls immediately. Now, here's the catch. What happens if the first request fails halfway through a third-party API call to Stripe or PayPal, but the second request succeeds? If you use a simple Redis lock, you might accidentally block a legitimate retry that actually needs to happen. This is why seniors get the big bucks, handling the partial failure state. So, senior engineers of TikTok and YouTube, how are you architecting this? Do you go for pessimistic locking, or are you betting on eventual consistency with an outbox pattern? Drop your architecture in the comments. I'm roasting the worst ones and pinning the most elegant solution. Let's see that system design brain work. Like and follow for the next architectural breakdown.